Big Chris, how you doing, baby? I'm doing well. I'm doing well. How you doing, man? Congratulations, man. Thank you. High five. Yeah. High five. High five. I, I saw the movie last night and I enjoyed it. Thank you. And you were great. That's very nice of you. Like always. Thanks, man. I would say Oscar keep worthy. Coming, keep I would say Oscar worthy. Wow, I would not say Oscar worthy. Why not? I would say Colin or Anton deserves the Oscar before me for this movie. <laughs> Why, bro? They killed, they killed, man. They and, did very well. And so do you, man. Thanks, so do you. man. Thank you. Dude, so how does it feel? I don't want to reveal too much, but you you go through some different transformations in this movie. Yes, sir. And how does it feel, man, just to be, you know, a little bit of a a little bit of the bad side coming out. Yeah, it's fun because it's almost like playing two different characters in this movie, right. which is awesome. It's more of a challenge. Um, yeah, the first half, he's just kind of depressed and lonely. And then once he gets turned, he's just a badass vampire, which was really new for me to play. Right, right. How much, and, you know, uh, makeup was involved? Or was that all natural, like the the buff shoulders and all that? That was not was, natural. Okay. As you could tell. I, that is yeah. not... I, I would, yeah, it's I can see that. It's all here, my friend. <laughs> <laughs> right. Uh, it was like four hours every morning wow. of makeup, which got kind of tiring, and then an hour at night to get it off. But Damn. It looks great, though. It was worth it. Yes, it does. What yeah. about the arm? What about the arm? What was that? The arm was, uh, I had to keep my arm back here, and then they, they threw a nub on, which was cool. K and B. Yeah, K and B did it, and it just looked okay. so good. It looks Did you great. keep the nub? I did not keep the nub. <laughs> You should have kept the nub. You think that was something to keep? That'd have been I got hot. the contacts and I got the fangs. Okay. Those are pretty badass to have. Okay. The nub would be good though. You should wear the fangs to a club. I'm thinking about it. You should just go around trying to bite girls. With the with the black eyes in too? Yes. People can't look me in the eyes. Like they told me when I wear that, they're like, I can't stare at you, I can't talk to you. Really? That might be nice actually. Yeah, that might be really peaceful. That might work out. Yeah. What's up with the soundtrack, man? I'm, I'm hearing this amazing soundtrack with like Kid Cudi and a bunch of other, you know, amazing artists, man. What's up with that? Uh it's no, Cudi is he's a good friend of mine. He's okay. got a he got a song in here. Um he actually wrote a, a song for the actual movie, which okay. will be released soon. Awesome. It's called uh, No One Believes Me. All right. It's really freaking good. Uh, and then the rest of the soundtrack is great as well. Yeah, so what are we ever going to hear some music from you, brother? Because I, when I see you, you just a permeate gangster rap to me. Really? You do. You really do. That's so weird that you see that from me. But <laughs> <laughs> I just, that's what I see, man. When I, I, when I, I see you, I, I think gangster rap. rap. I wrote a rap when I was 15 years old. But wow. uh, it's can, got can, bad words and drug use in it, so I can't. Can I just hear a little bit of it? The first line is. <laughs> Please, wow, this is. Wow. Uh, <laughs> I can't, dude. Please. Every line is some. It's all good. I cuss all the time in my interviews. Yeah, but drug use, you can't. You can't promote that. You really? Can't promote you can't, it. You can't. You can't. Yeah. Just a little nothing. What was the song called? Fresh choice. Fresh Choice. It was about it was about a restaurant called Fresh Choice that kind of rivaled Hometown Buffet. Wow. Yes. I think you should do a song about Whole Foods. Really? Yeah. I'm kind of over the rap now. That'd be gangster. That was when I was 15. You never I'm know. In a new chapter in my life. I think. It's now R and B soul. I think we're gonna hear some hip hop from you coming soon. Okay. That's my prediction. Are you gonna make the beats? I'll make the beats. Fair. I'll rap over it then. And I'll be a backup dancer. Cool. Yes. And, and security. Nice. But can you hit the high high? Can you like sing the? <laughs> yes, you're doing you're doing all three of those things for me. We'll go to Dimples in Burbank, dog. Cool. I'll show you what's up. I know Dimples. <laughs> Good to see you. Chris. Nice to see you, man. What's up? How you doing? <laughs> We're here. How you guys doing? Doing good, man. Doing Saw the movie last night. Cool. Great job. Thank you. I was, you left yeah, us hanging there. I know. You, you're yeah. but I saw the movie. <laughs> So, uh, like, wow, he's saw the movie last night. They're like, <laughs> good job, yeah, nice. good job, good job. Thank you. So you read the script. What's the first thing that comes to mind after you read that script? Who is gonna in the right mind direct this piece of <laughs> genius? <laughs> this piece of genius. I uh, no, I was wondering who was gonna, who the director was gonna be. I didn't know initially. I was given the script. I was looking for something lighter to do than than some of the dramatic pieces that I had done in the previous years. And uh, I was dubious about a Friday Night remake because I loved the original. Yes. Uh, you know, I really was a fan of it. I'm a fan of it. And I read this script, and it was just a, uh, it was just really, really cool read, man. I knocked it out in an hour, and and uh, and then when I heard he was directing, I had seen Lars and the Real Girl, and I was a big fan of that. And I thought, okay. cool, happy days. Hell yeah, hell yeah. yeah. <laughs> and when you try to take this on, what are you thinking? This project. Uh, you know, Mighty Knoxon wrote this are you script. Thinking? Are what you what? <laughs> <laughs> Seriously? See what happened. What the hell? <laughs> yeah, right. He's like a, he has like a stack full of like bills on the. I'll do it, damn it. Bills. Yeah, exactly. I was like, I, pay the bills. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I really, I really wasn't looking to do this kind of movie. Being like a vampire movie, I feel there's a lot of them out there. Yeah. You know, and um, but I read it, and it's just a great blend of horror and comedy. 
And yes. I just love mixing the tones up like that. And, yes. and to me, that's it's it's a fun challenge. And that's why I want to do it, because that's a tricky thing to do. Plus, you know, she wrote this vampire that is just a predator. Right. And vicious. And, and I wanted to see that vampire. And did you find the 3D off of the next dimension? And then it, doing it in 3D, that was, uh, it was just a good, you know, icing on the cake. Mm-hmm. <laughs> yeah, good answer. Yeah. Good, really good answer. Like, oh. <laughs> um, so you, Come on, you like the 3D. Yeah, I love the 3D. Hey. Um, <laughs> moving on swiftly. Uh, moving on. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> so, it's, I don't think there's any any woman that wouldn't invite you in the house. Um, you talking to me? No. Yeah, no. I'm talking. <laughs> Obviously, I'm talking. Obviously. It's the hat. It's the hat. Be like, oh my god, look at this hat. The reason hat. he wasn't looking at you is just because he's getting shy. <laughs> right. <laughs> so I'm gonna put my hat down. Um, <laughs> so shucks. Um, tell me why that is. Why can't vampires come yeah. in someone's home? Because I'm trying to figure that out still. So. I uh, might not be able to definitively answer that question, okay. but there is something about um, needing to abuse trust okay. that a vampire kind of need. Uh-huh. You know, when you're in somebody's domicile, right. there needs to be a, a level of trust that's displayed that then needs to be abused. Right. Okay. Something about that. And something about deeply being locked into the certain conventions, one being sun, another being a person's habitation, a person's home. Okay, okay. Well, I enjoyed this film so much, you guys. Congratulations. We're done? That was I, I, Are you wrapping me up? Can I ask one more? I'm, I'm, he's he's like, on. yeah, get the hell out. Um, what are fans, of course, of the film from back in the days gonna love about this film and, you know, relate? What are they gonna love? You know, I hope, I hope they love it. It's like we, we went back and we looked at the original and tried to pay homage to it in certain ways and you did. respect that. You did. Yeah. You, you did. Know. And, uh, and then again, this is still its own thing, but it's, it's got a mix of tone, too. And that was so, something that was so great about the original. And I loved it, man. Thank you. Cheers, Congratulations. Man.